take it away here. Uh, I shall. I'm going to be looking at the seagull cam myself for a minute here, although the, the server is having some serious issues getting us ready to go, so I'm not able to see anything that's happening quite yet. Uh, but it is going to be live, fully torqued versus classic mix-up here on Team Fortress TV with uh, your hosts Sal and DJC, Mr. Slynn running the camera, and our wonderful ESEA admin, Killing, is here to, uh, you know, just in case he needs to help us take care of business. Um, yeah, things are really laggy for me right now. This is kind of sad, but uh, already looks like Moose the first man down in the match. Tyler and Harblue not soon, or not not, uh, not too late to follow there, and already uh, Philly Twerk looks really good here. Are they paused? No, they're just really, really incredibly laggy, so I'm not liking this. And DJC is still like chatting in the stream chat or something here as a uh, mix up. I mean, some of them have already respawned and I'm, I'm hardly able to see what is happening. DJC just got back into mumble or something. I don't even know what's happening there. Maybe he's trying to fix his microphone. It's okay. But uh, there you go. Apparently, the static is just happening for both of us. It's on everybody's end. But on that first middle, mix up tried to take aggressive hold on that right side, but fully torch just got there on the perfect timing, got a ton of spam out. Uber's going to be popped in through main here. Enigma, the first pick, because Pierre is leading it in. Mixup do have some pretty solid position here on the last, but the Uber is going to do a lot of work as Moose and TLR instantly go down. Pressure to the point. Very quick and easy first round win for Fully Torch. Maybe not what everybody expected coming in, but with the mixup off class, you have to wonder if they can really put in their full effort here, Sal. Yeah, and uh, last week when they lost to BP, somebody was making the comment that they hadn't played very much. Like they were looking at their playtime over the past week, and it was, it was low numbers. Yeah. They took a bit of a Christmas and New Year's break there. We are on the second mid. This time, Mixup take a more defensive hold onto their side. Late bomb coming here from Moose. He is lagging gloriously through the air. Fragile goes down to Platinum Spam there, but Fully Torque pull off three retaliatory, ki retaliatory kills. Excuse me. Make it actually five. Why is he even be the only one alive? I've crashed. This is oh. a great cast already. Yeah, this is this is a high quality Team Fortress TV right here. Sadly, it is not on our end. It's either the ESEA STV servers or just generally Valve's problem. I don't know which it is. Um, but e either way, it's not cool. Uh, regardless, though, we do have Mixup losing another mid fight very decisively, getting wiped out completely. And Sean bugged a couple of kills there. I was watching his camera. Um, he's looking pretty good. He's looking pretty fantastic. Well, I'm just relaunching the game, so. All those things you're seeing, I don't. Yeah, it's all well. I, I understand. It's already one to zero, of course. They're fully torqued, and they've captured that second point now. So they are ready to push into the last and maybe make it two to zero in their own favor. Uh, of course, Mixup doing a little bit of a forward hold here, and this time around they've got the Uber advantage. Um, Hard Blue is on that regular Uber. You don't want to be on a crits right now. That'd be a very bad idea for them. So. Uh, He's almost got it. He's almost got it, and there you go, 100% Uber. So I don't think Harbaugh's going to drop this anytime soon, um, especially not with the entire Fully Torqued team basically hanging out outdoors. It looks like Fully Torqued expected some kind of push from Mixup. I didn't really get to see the setup or what happened, but uh, I can see right now the players just kind of slowly gliding in, moving along at two frames per second, having a great time. This is why I drink this right here. TF2.PPT is what we're watching right now, and fully torqued. They're ready to push in. They've got Seagull with a full buff. He's uh, standing right in front of the Fragile, who's got that Uber ready to go. Uh, sounds like YZ50 is on the Sniper, Enigma on the Heavy, and I don't think fully torqued like this. They're going to probably send in a Suicide. Yeah, this is the kind of classic Gullywash setup. You get one giant class that takes a lot of focus. You pull out the Sniper just to deny some angles to push from, maybe keep them from getting good spam on that Heavy. Looks like Seagull's peeking a little bit right now, just kind of drawing in the distraction. Zebrian is in, gets cleaned up by the Sickies. Harblue took very little damage there, and in fact, Seagull's going to get picked off as well. Now it's going to be a 4v6 defense here for Fully Torqued. They have their combo, as it may be, up top right now, but they're going to retreat to choke. Mix up pushing out the front door right now. Justin actually sneaks in up top, takes down Platinum. Going to go out of the medic as well here. Soldier jumped up to deal with them, and TLR with a nice rocket late in that fight to take him down. Now with their spawns coming in, Torqued might want to retake this. Soldier's going to be there a bit late, but Seagull is getting his buff. Takes some damage there, so he's not going to be a full 300 getting in, but he's going to drop the enemy pocket. TLR down. Nice Uber so far from Torqued. They have high ground as well. Everyone from Mixup is scattering. They got that very cap. Backcap's going on! Platinum spawns just in time to deal with Zebrine. 
But so it, doesn't, it may not even matter here right now. It's fully torqued. They are pushing their advantage. Uh, of course, Mixup are mostly back on that last point now. And you know, no, actually, fully torqued, not pushing too hard. They're going to wait for Justin, Justin White, the fabulous Justin, to get in on Sniper. Well, it's nice that you caught that, because I certainly did not see a thing over the past seven frames it rendered. Uh, right now, the torqued combo is going to rotate up top. It'll be interesting to see where Justin oh. snipes are. He's not even going to get the chance. Enigma goes in on and takes him down. Pure actually gets picked by the aggressive push here from Mixup. They saw that they were down a scout and took the window, the tiny, tiny window they had. They do lose their pocket in exchange, and Enigma laid in that, but they're going to have their medic out right now, baiting the damage. Rachanga is launched into the air. He's behind the point onto Harblue right now, but swarmed by the enemy team. It's just the Fragile and Seagull. They have fallen behind on Uber. They will get two spawns here, including their demo, so they can put up some kind of defense on middle here. It's just a question of how much they are behind on the Uber. Seagull playing so aggressively will take down Moose. Very smart play from him. It's one free pick, and now Mixup just can't even push. No, uh, and now, you, interesting, you got Justin sneaking around behind here, too. He's going to be taking on one of these scouts here, whether that's YZ50 or uh, I think it is YZ50, in fact. Justin's going to have to retreat. Um, and oh, he's retreating right into an Ubered combo there, pushing through the choke right at the moment. Uh, the Uber is finally finished off here. As Enigma and Hardbler both down, Justin uh, not getting the heals that he wants. Pure's down, but I mean, Mixup losing so many players here, and there you go. Fine. Oh, Justin stuffing YZ50 saying, yeah, okay, come at me when I got a medic on me. I crashed it, guys. So you can just take it away. So. No, I will continue to take it away, DJC. This is uh, this is TF2 at its at its least fine. I was gonna say at its finest, but I, I want to make sure people know that that like this is bad. It's, it's just really bad. It's unironically awful, um, and there's nothing we can do about it. As casters, so fully torched, gonna be ready to push him once again. The fragile almost has his Uber. He is 85 percent, and uh, this slideshow has actually completely stopped now. Nope, there you go. I thought they had paused. Turns out, I uh, just decided to wait three or four seconds before updating. And a seagull pushing him once again. Not doing a lot with his Uber though. There is way too much overheal on all these players. Enigma finally going down on that heavy, but you know, he uh, he's kept a lot of damage off the rest of his team. Still, makes up losing a few players here, but no, they've gotten the kills. Z Brian underneath the point though. Can he get this capture? I think he might be able to. Keep him platinum off the point with the rocket. And there you have it, two to zero. Fully torqued for classic mix up. Well, that sounds like a really good push. I'm sending client info. <laughs> and the push that my progress bar is making right now is insane. It's missing, I think, three right now. And with this number disadvantage, they're going to try really hard, but take over this mid, so... <laughs> you know what? I can't even see the mid because uh, it's still a slideshow. But there you go. Pure is finally there. He goes from inside his spawn to being on the point, spamming stickies at people just instantly, which is uh, obviously the best rollout anybody's ever seen. Um... But no, he's dealing a lot of damage this mid. It's just he's also taking quite a few hits of his own. He's got to be very careful about all of this. Justin's down. Seagull's down now, too. Zebrine going to follow soon after. So Pierre needs to retreat. He knows it. He and the Fragile, the only ones left. And now Pierre's trying to cover the retreat route for the Fragile. Um, I know he's not able to. Moose gets in and takes out the Fragile. Platinum. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Platinum was the one with that kill. And uh, Pierre, of course, goes down as well. So Mixup uh, might actually win this round. 100% Uber advantage. I can tell you that if the actual server were rendering as fast as this TV is, Pierre would have hit five air pipes there. You see the pyro and the heavy try to come out from fully torqued with the full uber. Up oh, man actually is going to fail miserably. That looked so good and then so bad as the second frame rendered. That is four down right now for mix up and make it five yep. as Wazi runs in to try to make a play. It is just Moose right now. Where is he hiding? He is sitting on the health pack in the attic. One of the classic roamer spots you play here. He's gonna actually move in through the lobby, try and get the timing on this right to spot out the fragile. He's on him first. Rocket is gonna take him down to 67. Moose is in. I can't tell what's going on. He the died. It's still okay. Alive. Alrighty, this is just quality stuff right here. Moose had a nice play, did do some good damage to the Fragile, but could not come through. Right now it's going to be a five-man defensive mix-up. They're playing forward with their combo when it gets to early force and get Harbu out, maybe through the big door. Have a sticky trap up as well in case TLR's initial rockets don't get the pop out here. Scouts are trying to move in through the flank for fully torqued with their buffs. I think the Uber was just popped. I see it ticking down. It went from 100% to 91. <laughs> right. They came in. Pure gets dropped by the Sticky Trap. Harbly was out safely right now. Very well played from Mixup. 
Yeah, uh, Seagull ran in, did a bunch of damage with a nice bomb. It just wasn't quite enough to get the kills, and of course nobody was around to follow up. So uh, it does mean that Mixup is going to have a nice big advantage. Zebrine trying to take down Platinum underneath, uh, and it looks like he will do just that in TF2 lag land. Actually, things are getting a little bit less laggy for me at the moment. This is kind of nice. Maybe the DDoS kid has finally put away his tools and is, is done, you know, smirking to himself and cackling maniacally, and uh, we might have an actual good game here. Yeah, I didn't see the hard blue Uber go to waste because it just didn't render on my screen. I do see that Zebrian's going to go down to TLR here, and I can only see that because of the score ticker. Right now, Fully Charged are doing a lobby defense. They're going to play this sniper. They know that they're even on Uber, even with Hard Blue going down there. Justin, a little bit indecisive about whether he wants to actually come out and fight here. Mix up TLR does get a little aggressive in choke, and in fact, Seagull onto the demo goes for the double kill. Can't get it. There is a scout in right now, dancing on the high ground. Seagull doing his job. He's watching the choke, but here comes Moose in on the flank. Takes down the fragile. Platinum's going to come in and clean that up right now. Good timing push here, but Justin is still up. Going to take down Enigma. Going to the top of the point, trying to get that cap. He's on the ground, being protected by a scout. YZ50 rushes in on both of them. Gets second headshot of the little fight here from Justin White, and he still has a bit of protection. Harblue is not even going to peek without Uber right now. Justin peeking on the big door right now. He's looking at the medic. They're spamming him. Hits the nice fully charged body shot onto Platinum. It gets cleaned up by that sticky. And now with a full Uber advantage, this is Mixup's time. TLR is going to get his 300 moving aggressively wherever he can find a hole. Right now the jump is going to come. They want this for... Was that an air shot? I couldn't tell. Uh, we're just going to call it one. We're going to call them all air shots or... Beautiful air shot know. by Tyler oh Morgan! Oh my god! <laughs> Uh, no, definitely an Uber coming in right now. Harblue leading the rest of his team, uh, making sure they don't take any damage through this choke point now. Everybody's in except Harblue. He actually retreats. Going for the Uber Saw attack on his enemy med. Doesn't really even matter, but he will get a couple of nice uh, Uber Saw hits in there after the humiliation round. Now it's 2 to 1. Classic mix up finally getting it together. They had a nice little push there, they just used their uber advantage, pushed very strongly, got stickies on the point, applied pressure to the point, and everybody's about to warp into mid in about 3, 2, I think my game crashed. Zero. Okay, they're there now. So, classic mix-up. Uh, losing YZ50, Sean Bud down in exchange. Uh, in fact, a very brutal mid-fight here, but especially for Fully Torqued. Pure, gonna try and make some craziness happen here again, but we're not even able to see it. All we can see is uh, a slideshow. And I'm, I'm gonna be frank. Um, this is actually giving me an idea for a video on my own channel. Because Darling, you know how I've I've, I've casted ca uh, I've casted like solitaire and stuff. I'm actually gonna cast just a random PowerPoint slideshow that I find on Google. Uh, I think it's gonna be hilarious. I like that apparently people on the STV get differing results because you saw the mid fight and I didn't. It didn't render <laughs> a good frame for a good 25 seconds. But I can see that right now Mixup have taken control a second. Fully Turks are going with the heavy defense. I'm surprised Justin isn't on sniper. They're down significantly on the Uber. Doing a bit of a gully wash forward hold here. It works the same way as Badlands trying to get that pop at the doors. But there are several more ways to break it including Moose getting into the lobby unseen. But TLR is going to get dropped by the sticky trap. Moose wanted to come in but the scout is on last already. They just pushed in through the attic onto the the heavy oh. fragiles down instantly plat will get cleaned up but there's just so much positioning for mix up right now it's all down to if fully torque can defend from their point with low life they will clean up yz50 as well but look at this 74 28 27 79 no health on this team you are going to come up pyro just to get a full health class out there on the battlefield Harblue barely escaping with his life will retain a slim. Oh no, the, no, he's advantage. not. He's not getting out of there. Uh, he's getting chased down by a pyro, Zebrian, right now. He's actually going to go for the Uber saw. I don't think he hit anything there though, and the fragile now has the advantage. Well, I couldn't see Harblue anywhere, so my bad for that awful call. But I'm having a great time here, Sal. The scouts are going to get cleaned up for fully torqued. The Uber Advantage is in their favor right now, but they have no demo man. Only two soldiers mix up could try and get aggressive here. Maybe pick the fragile, but they're going to choose the uh, wiser option, perhaps play a little passive. Moose is actually trying to go in, but he gets spotted out by the stickies of pure. Did he get seen? He's under the point right now. Is he just going to go for this straight up? No, the soldier is roaming. Zebrian spotted him out. He's oh. on him now. The classic roamer battle under the point gets cleaned up by the splash rocket of Zebrian. I, I can literally imagine right now, if, if Moose had walked onto that point and just capped it, I, I can imagine what he would have said. You know what he would have said, right? I don't have a clue. Dubbis.
Very he just possibly. shouted it out loud. He I does think that. Hooper just came in. I saw a very brief flash of it. Pure jumped into the choke, got some stickies to deny mix ups positioning, but they're gonna clean it up. Platinum up top, untouched. Just get some stickies to rain down upon Pure's head. The fragile is overextended. The bomb is gonna come. Oh my god. It didn't look no, like no, it where it didn't work. It did not work. It's okay, guys. Z Brian's in the lobby going for the skill stick kill with that escape plan. Will not come. It's just Sean, but eats an instant rocket. Two meat shots to the back. They have two spawns. A scout on the point trying to delay long enough for Pure to get it, but he got denied by that combo. Some nice rockets from Tyler Morgan, TLR, and we have drawn even at 2-2 two two here, going to the first half decider round on Gollywatch Middle between Classic Mixup and Fully Torqued. And we're just going to watch them chill, standing perfectly still right now. Yeah. No problem. That's pretty cool. I like watching that. Um, but yeah, it's 2-2. Two two. This is a pretty crazy round right now, as uh, there's about 15 minutes left to go, so I guarantee you we're going to go to halftime before that. One of these teams will get the capture. Um, but which one is it going to be? Both teams having a little bit of difficulty securing the point right now. Z Brian, the first one to go down, and Tyler able to uh, knock out a seagull as well, feeling pretty good about uh, taking down his counterpart on the other team. But the question now is what will Mixup do? They've actually given up some uh, high ground positioning. They want to still push in, and uh, the Fragile's having difficulty uh, keeping both of those team members alive. Sean Bud down, man. The Fragile, I'm sorry, Justin down. Sean Bud's still up. But uh, yeah, the Fragile retreating desperately. It looked like a fully torqued corner to play, a nice aggressive middle there. They had one soldier bomb in onto the enemy team. Seagull was in a very good position on the enemy side above the forward respawn, but unfortunately this got so separated. Zebrian was a free pick. Seagull got swarmed by three more, and Pure was playing aggressively on that right side, but he was just by himself once both soldiers went down. Just some missed timings there. They will have their Uber though, so we will see an Uber versus Uber push. Fragile's gonna eat some initial damage. The bomb in from Moose. He does a ton of work, pushes the team back. And I mm, can't see anything. Pure is extended so deep, gets pain trained by Platinum. I did catch that one. The demo trade. Uber's gonna be popped in by the Fragile, knowing they are two down. Counter comes. TLR and Seagull just blocking each other in this choke point. Right now, the Scouts are coming in for support from Mix Up. But Seagull's gonna think the better of it. Just back it up. Yeah, and, and both Pure and uh, Platinum, by the way, as soon as that kill happened, both of them were laughing in the stream. Or the. The game chat, I should say. So they're clearly enjoying themselves here, regardless of the outcome. But uh, this is a close game. And interesting little ambush here by Z Brian. He didn't manage to get that kill on Mix Up, but uh, he did a lot of damage. Yeah, right now, Torqued are in a bad position. If Mix Up had pushed in through that flank, which they chose not to, surprisingly, lots of spam went in there. But they actually do get in behind and take down Sean, but now Torqued are just bad position here. Pierre is caught out. Fragile actually gets cleaned up by YZ50 as well. Did not deal with their flank problems effectively there, and Pierre gave that team a little bit of a reaming a while back for that exact problem. So, uh, so, so who, dead. who controls the flank, DJC? Uh, it looks like Classic Mixup do right now because they control the universe. We're going to see the two pyro defense. Nice air blast by Z Brian. He will take some damage. Actually, the Fragile is going to die the second he comes out of spawn, so no heals for Torqued if they want to defend this. Justin is on to the point. Platt hits a nice pipe onto him, and he'll take the round. That is half. Mixup leading 3 to 2. And my 5 to 4 prediction, Sal, it's looking pretty solid. Hey, hey, all it takes is fully Torqued to get three more points, man. I could get my 5 to 4 done, too. Yeah, you but uh, be... we're we're in halftime, so we got we got time here. Platinum right now sitting on four dominations, ladies and gentlemen. He's died nine times, which is the tied lowest in the server. Not that low, but he has 28 kills and he's doing 483 damage per minute, which is a solid 170 above peer on the other team. So Platinum right now is just stepping it up and saying, you know what? We're down our starting medic, our roamers playing medic for us right now. We have the most Weed smokiest Asian man in the world on a roamer. I'm just gonna carry it. Uh, I hope we're not front page anyway. But yes, this is uh, <laughs> this is classic mix up starting to take control of their game, especially with Platinum doing such crazy damage. Um, Pure not able to quite replicate the amazing feats that he had in that BP game. So, um, I, do you think that Fully Torqued is starting to look like that classic third place team where they have that glimmer of promise and just just never quite make it to uh, the consistency of the top two? They look... Well, the thing is, they're a team that's been improving uh, ever since Lang left the team. That's not an offense to Lang, it's just they moved someone who is one of the best pockets to ever play TF2 on the pocket. And they have a good scout pair, uh, which they had before, just a more experienced scout pair because Seagull was playing it for the first time, Sean is used to playing it. 
Uh, they're and they picked up the Fragile, who's very experienced on Medic. Shamba was definitely struggling. I think this team still has a lot of room to grow. Uh, they are definitely devoted. Maybe not as devoted as BP is, but they spent a lot of time in servers together figuring things out. They had a nice hour-long uh, map review session for Gullywash the other day. So they're definitely going to be spending a lot of time trying to figure out where they went wrong against BP, what they've done wrong against Mixup here, but the second half is about to go live, and we will see just how many frames of this mid-fight will display on my monitor. Well, I'm actually not getting a lot of lag here at the moment on my end. Um, people have been saying there's a special Z Brian rollout. What is that? It's a very quick rollout he does that gets in there at exactly the same time as the demo, allows him to jump onto the demo and take him out of the fight instantly. Have not seen it yet, I do not believe, but right now Fully Torqued have good point control. You see both soldiers from Mixup jump towards the point. Moose going to get cleaned up very early though. And Torque's aggressive early positioning has paid off well. They took height advantage and they just held it. Mix up lose one player and back out with their slightly weakened medic. And we'll have a yard defense here as Torque try to even this up. You know, I, I really like the coordination by Fully Torque as well. They uh, they did take the high ground advantage, like you said, but I was watching Zebrian the whole time waiting for that rollout. And he stayed on the low ground. He spotted, uh, I think it was Enigma, trying to sneak in through that low ground area and, and completely held his team's flank. So talk about control on the flank, DJC. Yeah, Big Bomb comes in here as my game freezes slightly and everything goes invisible. I see so much going on, but I have no idea who's shooting any of it. You can see Platinum actually going to jump up top here, get away from the Uber. Both soldiers in behind for Fully Torqued, though. The counter bomb from behind coming in from both of them. Shambo going to get a cleanup kill on a Platinum. And the kills do flow with Shambo. The double kill so far. Tons of damage done there by those soldiers who just got in behind. Mix I wish. Totally wiped right now. Uh, and that means that Fully Torqued, they feel the opportunity to push into last already. Six, five seconds still until everybody respawns. Um, they might not respawn in time for this point to get kept. There you go. That's, uh, that's Fully Torqued taking an extremely quick round once their opponents died there on second. Yeah, I didn't really see much of the last push, unfortunately. Mm. Hey, I'm still seeing a lot of this push, and I'm actually seeing the rollout as though it were, like, working. So, um, maybe my portion of the relay is better than yours. <laughs> but, no, Fully Torch getting out here right now. Uh, Pure laying down the standard stickies on the point. We've got um, not a lot of control of the high ground for either team right now, but I think more in the favor of Fully Torch. Still, things are looking not too bad for Mixup either. A lot of players are harmed right now. Enigma, the first one to go down, and suddenly, everybody on Mixup has really low health here. Uh, Wide 50 Tyler, Platinum all down. It's just Moose and Hard blew up and they are retreating. The YZ-15 and Enigma lost some health there, had to come back and get healed up, which took the heals away from TLR and Platinum. Opened up a nice hole for Zebrian and Seagull to bomb into. They got a ton of damage out and nobody really had the health they should have to defend that push. Harblue will keep his Uber. It will be a last defense for Mixup and it looks like so far they're going to want to go with the standard 2 Scout 2 Soldier Demo Man. So what will the counter be? We actually see Justin instantly spawn onto the Heavy Weapons guy. YZ50 on the sniper, actually. So, um, normally I would say just sniper counters heavy weapons guy. But in this case, a defensive sniper, um, not gonna really do a lot against the heavy, is he? You're just gonna uber the heavy straight through the choke point before the sniper can shoot him. And then that heavy walks all the way to the point with his, you know, his fat feet, and the sniper can't do anything about it. If that were the push they were going to do, that would definitely be true, but that is not really what invite teams like to do. They like to jump Zebrian in and just eat some sticky traps, and then it looks like Mixup do want to get aggressive on this, but they spot out the heavy and know they cannot really do that. Uh -huh. But generally with a heavy, invite teams will push in with their initial uber, get the enemy uber to be popped, and then bring the heavy in late as kind of a 450 health ball of death, because he will have crit heals and get full healed up instantly and be able to just walk in from whichever angle he chooses, especially effective on Gullywash because there are so many easy ways to get heavy in with high ground advantage raining, especially if you pressure the point, like that might just be the push they want to go for. Uber Sean Bud through two point, get him out of the fight, trade the Uber, and then have Justin come in and just take high ground on that ledge where Hardblue is standing right now. Right, and that's actually a, a good point there too, that by the time the heavy walks in, nobody's going to have any, like, you know, there's not going to be a single soldier with four rockets loaded. Hardblue taking some hits. He's gotten away so far. Z Brian didn't manage to get the hit. Hardblue actually using that overdose to its full effect, using the full 10% speed boost that he gets with having an Uber to run back into spawn and grab the health. Uh, did I lag or did Sal lag? I can't quite tell. Oh, did I lag? Uh oh A little bit. You just kind of cut off at the end. We see the... Uh, 
defensive heavy come up from Enigma. Gonna drop Seagull, take Peer down very low. The Uber Exchange goes off in lobby here. A heavy versus a soldier. Only one can win. TLR realizes it's definitely not him. He's gonna run away to the safety of his own fat man. Shamba kind of caught out here. Actually gonna trade with Enigma. Oh my Justin God, runs it as well. Oh, TLR down to Z Brian's late entry to the fight. 3v4 right now. I crashed. Well, uh, Tyler was doing a fantastic job, but he is down, finally. He got two kills with just, I don't know how he does that six shotgun aim. He just whips the mouse around. He's like, yep, I'm going to kill you now, and you die. Uh, YZ50 walked straight into a rocket from Z Brian, and a seagull coming in to do some damage as well. Hardblue is down, but I don't think Fully Torch quite have what it takes to make this push right now. Although, they do have their med. Their opponents don't. No, Fragile's down, and at this point, Pure is retreating. I shall be seen, so I don't think Mixup are going to lose this point just yet. The best part no, of here's, no, here's Sean Bud, actually. He's coming back in. Uh, finally gets taken out there, and Mixup are... I mean, they've got enough players now. They really shouldn't lose this point. So, uh, they're stabilizing. They'll push out second. They just gotta watch out for Pure. Where is he right now? No, he's backed up. No problem. Well. You still in? It sounds like it was good. Yeah, it, was it really does It was alright. So. It was pretty good. I'm sending client info, so I'm like 95% of the way there. <laughs> of course, hey, that I can 90 see everything. I can see the big uber advantage the Harbly possesses right now. The fact that Torqued are forced into mid. They're holding their own choke. Have some nice stickies up. Hoping to get somebody to walk on those as they come through. Mix up, we're going to hit their uber in about six seconds. That'll be a pretty good timing. Uh, they could make a nice drop down play with their roamer here. Could push in aggressively through the choke with the rest and see if Moose can get in behind to clean it up. Can actually they move to the flank. flank yeah. Nice spot by our streamer, Mr. Slin here. Why is he going to get the first kill on the Zebra? And that should just be the back out for Fully Torque. They're going to want to spam to get this pop, but might not be able to do it. Pure committing so aggressively, though, but is going to back out late with his overheal stayed alive there. That was actually a really interesting push by Mixup. They didn't bring their medic in at all. Harblue gave a bunch of overheals to people. They walked in through flank, and then Harblue wrapped around to Platinum over in the choke. Um, so he was never exposed to any danger at all. And then uh, he and Platinum came in really late to that fight. Uh, Enigma down, but so is Pure. Losing your dome man, a really big deal in Gully Watch. I think that Mixup are... Yeah, they are already pushing on this, in fact. Um, so DJC, your prediction just might be right here. The 5-4, we'll have to see. Oh, no! Harblue dropping the oobs to Seagull. Is so that two drops so far for Harblue? Not the uh, medic return he would have liked. There is still a soldier in behind right now. That is TLR fighting the good fight. Glad I'm going to clean up Sean, but in the meantime, but I'm watching this flank battle. The Matrix is going on here. Neo is jumping through the air. Mr. Smith is doing rocket jumps on the other side. Soldier is going to live. The midcap did go. But that is a big problem for Torque right now. They have three players forward, and then everyone was back killing TLR. No contest is going to come here from Mixup, though. They could have done a little bit of damage there, but just didn't have the spawn in the position to do it. They will switch to the heavy for this defense. It's 3 3 right now. Fragilize the full Uber pops in through main with Pierre. Switching back and forth between Pierre and the soldier. They focus the medic really aggressively. Moose is going to rush to the point and get cleaned up, but they haven't spotted Platinum under the point yet. Pierre cleaned up as well. Late bomb comes in from TLR. Late spawn there. They've gotten so much pressure on the point now, though. Fragile gets an Ubersoft. Hard blue goes for the counter. Ubersoft swipes, but can't get them. Nice round there from Fully Tory. We go ahead four to three. This is getting pretty impressive. Um, and right now, I don't know, Fully Torqued, they might be feeling pretty good about this. Uh, I'm going to be watching the, let me see if I can find the pure cam. Where is he at right now? He's actually moving in the, the elbow. elbow already. That's right. That's what that little hallway is called. Uh, laying down a bunch of sticks on his opponents. And Enigma down first to Sean Bud. Pure actually spotted the enemy med really close by. Um, at this point, though, it does look as if... Oh, there you go. Moose is down. Tyler's down to Sean Bud. This is actually getting to be a, a bit of a bad fight for both teams. But the Fragile's still alive. So, obviously, mix up the worst for wear here. And uh, Pure starting to lay down damage against Platinum. What is Enigma doing on the spy here? Gonna go for a miracle play on the medic because it's pretty much their only chance at this point, so we'll have to keep the camera on him. A uh, pure was in a very interesting position there. He was pretty much alone, looked like the kind of player that would get cleaned up instantly. Only Mixup didn't really know how to attack it. They couldn't go for Pyrrha. They didn't go for the enemy combo, so they got cleaned up very easily. Fragile's in a very bad spot right now, but I think they just spotted out this spy. Fragile is actually walking up elbow right now. Enigma back onto middle. Not really sure what to do right now. I think they did see him, but I'm not 100% sure he's actually just going to retreat. And they're going to go for the forward hold, get the force on the doors here, and try and back Harblue out. But that has been a tough task so far tonight. 
No, and the Seagull's in right now. He does take a lot of damage, though, and Mix-Up is going to be okay taking him down. Uh, nonetheless, here comes Eduro from the Fragile. He manages to get a, a bunch of players in straight through the bottom. In fact, all five of them walking through that exact same entrance. Um, and, oh, there's a bunch of people on the point right now. Zebrine doing so much damage. It is ridiculous. He's taking out the skill stick, wants to get the kills, and it doesn't even matter. Just in caps, that's five to three. Mix-Up dropping their second map of the season. A bit surprising here for Mixup. I know that a lot of people thought they would be weaker without Ruin on Medic, and they were. Moose didn't have the greatest game. I'm assuming we'll have the stats up on the uh, stream soon enough. Moose didn't have a very great game. Did not too much damage. Um, and but really, it boils down to Seagull did so much for his team, and yes. he had great support from his flank. Justin, Seanbud, and Z Brian all with over 20 kills. Uh, the only people who really got any kills on the mix-up side were Platinum and Enigma, the soldiers disappointing at the bottom of the scoreboard. TLR did good damage, but he died a fair amount of times, didn't really do as much with his Ubers as you saw Seagull doing. Yeah, I I was quite impressed. Uh, fully torqued, looking absolutely stellar this game. Um, of course, they're, they've got a ways to go if they want to beat BP, but they actually came pretty darn close. So... Uh, so, DJC, what do you think? I mean, who are we going to see uh, winning LAN this season if the trend continues? If it continues going like it is now, BP are going to wipe the floor with everybody, and it will be pretty predictable, much like it was last season. Um, well, I think that Torqued okay. and Mixup are both right now good enough to challenge BP once they kind of get back in the rhythm, they spend a little more time, because honestly, the thing that BP have over everybody else, all of these teams are about roughly the same skill, but BP put in the time and the effort, they MGE, they go over maps, they think of specific strategies, they don't reveal anything before match day rolls around, and they come in with Shrugger, who is just insane, but we do have the interviewees coming in right now. Yes, sir. Post-game interview of the winning team. Fully torqued. Uh, guys, what's up? We got Justin. We got Pure. We got Brian. We got Seagull coming in. Guys, how do you feel after that game? Waiting for Pretty the whole lucky. crew to roll through. Hey, everyone's here now. What's up, Sal? What's up, crew? Did you say you feel pretty lucky, Seagull? Yeah. Was that? Just the fact that they just happen to have Moose playing this week and... It's, it really is not actually like maining soldier, you're just playing Roamer for him this week. Yeah, it's definitely not a great move for them to have to deal with. You guys actually had to deal with that yourselves in week one. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Moose's track record this season is not, not uh, booting well for him right now. Uh, Moose is probably not going to feel so well if he loses the next match with Mixup that he's going to have to play. But um, you guys started off the first half, you went down a round, you definitely adjusted in the second half though. You What did you actually decide to do differently that turned it around? Mids. Yeah, yeah, you did. You did dominate on mids in the second half. It seemed like you just got better soldier aggression. Moose was kind of fumbling it around underneath a few times, and Brian was in doing a lot of work, did a ton of damage, and Seagull was there to follow up his bomb every single time. It's this is a map where like uh, if if you don't win mid, then it's just incredibly difficult to because like, like to retake a point or to defend last, it's the other team pretty much has to screw up pretty bad to like give you back a bunch of rounds or a bunch of points and um we just really focused and uh just focused on our mids really that's like the big thing so um so so then you guys almost certainly going to LAN at this rate and you're you're all prepared for that um do you think you're going to win LAN how how do you think you're going to do there got to get there first yeah yeah, we're not... Okay, all right. We have a tough but, schedule. Like, yeah. yeah, 16 matches. Eight of them are against Don't Trip, BP, and Mix-Up. Like, we probably have the hardest The best schedule. top three teams in the game, you know? Yeah. yeah. We're not that Eight. cocky. Okay. We, at, at this point, we're not considered to make LAN. Like, we're not, all right, guys, yeah, we're going to LAN. Like, we're, we'll be like, okay, we're going to LAN when it's actually official. Like, because, I don't know, we, of course, we want to win every single game, but... Even though we just won this match and that are you know we're we're doing pretty hot right now we're we're not considered to be at land until like we know we're in for sure. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves interesting all right um so seagull the the stream chat is asking you specifically how do you do so much damage? I spam chokes when there's nothing going on to pad my damage stats. You are Tyro from <laughs> three seasons ago the best soldier I learned I, from the best yeah man. You definitely seem to be a step above every other pocket so far. Like, 
you haven't pocketed as many games, but you have been much more impactful than pretty much everyone else so far. It's come down to just positioning, or you've just played so much that you know what to do, like, at every opportunity, or what is it really? I wouldn't really consider myself all that much above other pockets. I think in my previous game versus BP, I had, you know, amazing damage stats, but that's because I stole every Uber from Bradford and never let him get anything. And I just spammed the crap out of chokes, and I think that's, like, an insanely bad damage stat, and I don't think I'm, like, as high as level as you think I am. So do you think you still have a lot of room to improve on your play? Like, you could take it to another level? We have seen you, the last lane you went to, you did pretty much that exact same thing. Just improved as the season went on, and once you were at land, you were just at the top of your game. Do you think you'll pretty much be following that arc this season? Or at least trying to? Yeah, I'll try to. I always try to peak my play in a season at land. I don't try to go super hard in the middle of the season, because then I'm afraid I would burn out before the end of it, and sort of thing. Yeah, do you guys think that that is, like, in general, a thing that happens with TF2 teams? Like, as the season goes on, maybe they realize, oh, it's the LAN crunch, we really need to play our hardest now, and then they arrive at LAN and it just kind of sinks a little bit? In terms of what? Sinking, just that they're, they just flew somewhere to play video games at, like, a hotel? Um, I guess it pretty much boils down to, like, it feels like no matter how you are as a player, you're going to have a certain capability, like you can put as much into a game as you possibly can and they're going to be tapped. Do you think that there have been like lands in the past where teams have just done that to themselves before land gets there? Like, focus so hard on the regular season that maybe they lost sight of land, maybe didn't do what they need to at land because land is such a different atmosphere? Flow? It's the flow, it's like waves, you need to be like, when you're out, the, I'm not going to get into it, I'm not going to put on a short, I'm not <laughs> talking right. about waves, but um, you know, you need to be there at a certain time, so... In terms of like hitting lane right, it's good to obviously ramp up, and you got the, the the natural like waves of just for some reason you happen to be playing well or like people happen to be at their computer more often. No one's really like bugging out, and then like there's the you know the artificial one that you're kind of getting into about like uh, playing a lot right before ESCA land, which I think every single team does. Like in the week before it and the, the like the two weeks, everyone basically plays every night. Uh, I think that only makes teams pretty good, but as uh, I heard in towards the end of the cast, it's like uh, it's which teams adapt. So you still have to be you have to beat Platinum, you have to beat Banny, and you have to beat all the other like people who think they're good. People like Seagull, Big Seagull. That leads into a question we got from our chat from Ta Hacker, um, specifically about adapting. TLR and YZ and Enigma were very aggressive at the start. How exactly did you change your play to deal with that aggression in the second half? Yes, because you rolled um, 3-0 in the second half. The, there was definitely an adjustment that I made in terms of who I was shooting at middle. And uh, uh, generally, I like to, I, because I try to copy Banny as best I can, even though I'm like like 50% of what he is, maybe 40%. And like it's just shooting scouts. All I want to do is shoot scouts. But in the second half, I, I changed that because I saw Platt had four dominations and I was like, mm, I'm one of them. So I just told the guys I was going to be trying to shoot platinum, and it just turned out it turned out to be shooting soldiers. They had like... delayed aggression, is what they had. Like the last round of the first half, we lost. Like they, like I think, like four of them were sitting on their side. So at the beginning of the second half, we just played super aggressive and picked like, like one, I think we got like Moose right off the bat, so they backed out. And then the next round, we got somebody else. And then the very last round, Sean and I picked Enigma really quick. Well. Like, three of them were kind of baiting their teammates on the point, so. Yeah, Why do you get so many, like, scout headshots? <laughs> You're on land. Look on the head. Do it on land, he shoots at everything, dude. He will shoot at any <laughs> class, and you know it's true, Sal. I do. Yeah, we've seen it before. Uh, one question that came up a few times in chat was actually, I'm not going to ask, like, did BP better prepare you for that? Because I don't think that's a fair question. But what differed playing BP in classic mix-up? Like you've done it two nights in a row now. You've gotten to see both of them up close and personal. It the funniest part moves, is right? that we scrimmed uh, last night. We scrimmed mix-up to warm up for BP, and tonight we scrimmed BP to warm up for mix-up, which is kind of interesting because it's it was kind of weird scrimming mix-up, but we really didn't care that much. And actually, giggly giggly guy was our uh, medic, but then tonight tonight we warmed up, warmed up on BP, but. I don't know, what do you guys think uh, he last night in the mix-up tonight? Uh, the difference? 
between our play or the team the, the team we them play, them the playing opponents? with uh, DJ asked. Yeah, the uh, opponents. Sorry, I think BP plays like slower. Yeah, I was gonna slower. say it feels like they play a lot tighter. So like, if anyone's overextended, they're gonna get picked because they're just ready for it. That's such a slow map. You know, one mistake can screw you to last. Yeah, versus BP, the mids last like 20 seconds. Versus mix-up, it's 5 seconds. Either win it or you lose it. Hmm. Okay, so interesting. Um, Ferg Butt kind of brings up an interesting point from the stream chat. Who do you guys consider your biggest competition for that fourth or third or whatever is place land spot? Um, AG? Yeah, everybody. Everybody, exactly. mix-up, basically. But you guys don't have your, your hotness. If people want to hear the hotness names. What do you guys think it is? I said AG. Mark. <laughs> I think Arc, Arc, Arc 2012. I don't know what lineup Zensity is going to land on. Um, that's kind of a wild card. Sounds like, like they uh, picked up Mela and might be running something like Spades and RB on Scout with Mela pocketing and Relic roaming and Smack on demo. Mm. I don't know. We'll see how solid. that lineup goes. But uh, I don't know. Don't Trip's roster seems like a really strong roster to miss out on land. You know, maybe they'll yeah. tighten up a little bit and was get that say, fourth place. I think they should be they winning the games against all the lower teams if they win the games they're supposed to, and they can definitely play like us and mix up heads up so i don't know we'll see and what you can look at if you go and look at don't trips schedule i think they've played probably the hardest starting schedule and now they're going to go into a really easy phase we're going to start playing you know the fifth to eighth teams instead of the top two or top three so they're definitely going to be getting that fourth place yeah our schedule's tough we played bp yesterday we played mixed tonight then we played bp next week and then i think the week after we played don't trip so it's like four out of our five matches are against the top three teams. Yeah, it feels like the schedule is pretty much padding it, so all of the top four teams just play each other every map somehow, and it's really nice for us as casters, but yeah, probably not so great as a player. No, <laughs> and ESE needs to change it. There needs to be nine teams, because yep. this season's a perfect example of how close all these teams are, and I'm not like making an excuse, but we have a really hard schedule, and if we like didn't make land by one game... I mean, we played eight of our 16 matches are against the top three teams. There needs to be nine teams. That way you play each team twice. Okay, yeah, that's an well. idea that's been pitched for a few seasons, and then it's just never been considered viable by the admin. Yeah, I don't know why. It's only fair, really, because then you don't have the excuse of, oh, well, they only got land because they played a team that went... 1 and 15, whereas we had to play, you know, re really good teams or anything like that. I'm not saying that, that we're going to be using that kind of excuse, but if you just add in that one extra team, then no one can have that possible excuse. It's literally as fair as possible. Yeah, I, I agree. Sure. I, that sounds pretty good. Um, I have to go to bed. I don't know if DJC wants to continue the interview, but uh, but I have one final question before I go, and that is, Sean Bud, are you a sellout, bro? Uh, <laughs> no. No, I'm not. <laughs> I think that's a good enough right. places I need to cut it. I'm Sal's gonna go to bed. I'm gonna thanks get for catching the game, guys. Yeah, awesome. man, thanks Appreciate for it. thanks for giving us a good one to cast. Unfortunately, yeah, uh, like ESEA didn't quite do their part. Killing. I see you sitting there and mumble. Does he get docked pay? I wish. It's like five percent, right? Pay. Take care, right. Yeah, Thanks for coming in for the interview. We really appreciate it. Thanks to our cameraman, Mr. Slynn, for streaming. Thanks to Sal for being here and being my buddy tonight. Thanks for Fully Torch for coming and giving us a great interview. Uh, got some good questions out of the chat there. And thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, one last thing to announce. You should go check out TeamFortress.tv, your home for competitive Team Fortress news. Especially if you're new to TF2 and you want to check it out, there is on the sidebar something called Newbie Mixes that will be happening this weekend. You should find some information about that if you want to get into 6v6 good starting point to take um, oh oh fights land f-i-t-e-s land happening like february 20 something i think i don't know check it out uh xtv is really helping promote that one and there's gonna be a lot of, of awesome uh tf2 players there so there's a there's a big thread about it in team fortress tv forums there's gonna be a lot of tf2 at fights land yeah there will be um so i think that's all we have for you guys thank you for being with us tonight through the initial stv problem and make sure you check us out tomorrow night where myself and Seabear will be casting over on the ESEA stream. Casting classic mix-up versus somebody. I should know this. Don't trip. Don't trip. Thank you, Sean Bud. So yeah, make sure you check that out. And that is it for us. Good night, guys. Laters.